Hi and welcome to Jewish News TV. Coming up this week, honours abound on Australia Day. Will wannabe chefs get their just dessert? And all the latest from the open. But first, the big story of the week. A Jewish woman who set up a charity to help feed the needy has been named Australia's local hero. Ronnie Kahn, founder of Oz Harvest, was presented with the prestigious award by Prime Minister Kevin Rudd. The former event organiser says she's delighted the work of the charity has been recognised. I feel so, so proud to receive it and, and aware that it's actually going to make a huge difference to Oz Harvest and to the purposes that I believe in and I know that it's going to be a, a wonderful vehicle for me to, to make new change and to, to make an even bigger impact, really. Staying with the subject of food, two Jewish chefs will be cooking their way onto the small screen in a new reality show. Clint Udelman and Noah Rose are competing for the $100,000 prize on My Kitchen Rules. Clint says cooking in front of the cameras was quite a challenge. It's hard to be natural in front of a camera when you've never seen one before and all of a sudden they're a 10 in front of you. Um, but you sort of just get used to it and you pretend as if they're not there. My Kitchen Rule starts next Monday on Channel 7. You can see our full interview with Clint on jewishnews.net.au. From serving food to serving aces. And there's been mixed fortunes for Jewish players at the Australian Open this week. With the latest, here's our very own ball boy, David Wiener. Thanks, Lexi. Well, Israel's charge at the 2010 Australian Open ended yesterday when Andy Ram bowed out of the mixed doubles competition. Teaming up with Russia's Elena Vezina, they met their match against the top seeds, Kara Black and Leander Payers, 6-4, 6-3. Jonathan Ehrlich enjoyed a return to Grand Slam form in the men's doubles, alongside French journeyman Arnaud Clement, but Ram's former partner exited after an epic 6-4, 1-6, 7-6 defeat to second seeds Daniel Nesta and Nenad Zimunich. While the Israelis are out, a Jewish Aussie star is rising in the junior competition with 17-year-old Sean Berman into the quarter-finals. The South African-born Melbourneian beat the third seeded Jason Kuba on Tuesday. No Australian summer sports report is complete without cricket and our man in South Australia, Michael Klinger, has smashed another century, but this time in the shortened 50-over form of the game. Klinger smashed 124 off 133 balls to steer the Redbacks to an unlikely win against New South Wales in Wollongong. There are the sports headlines. It's back to you, Lexi. From tennis to rugby. It was the game that united a nation. Against the backdrop of the politically and racially divided post-apartheid South Africa, President Nelson Mandela rallied the country behind the mostly white Afrikaner Springboks team. Now the remarkable true story of the squad's 1995 World Cup win is being told in the film Invictus. Directed by four-time Oscar winner Clint Eastwood, the film features tour de force performances by Morgan Freeman as Mandela and Matt Damon as captain of the rugby team. I thank whatever gods may be for my unconquerable soul. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of Soul. Eastwood's son, Scott Eastwood, plays the team's only Jewish player, Joel Stransky, who scored all the team's points in the winning game. And you can catch the film, which is out in cinemas nationally. For all these stories and more, check out the Australian Jewish News, available every Thursday at your local newsagent. And log on to jewishnews.net.au for all the latest in news and views from the Jewish world. Thanks for joining us. I'm Lexi Landsman. And this is Jewish News TV.